Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today Mark my funny zombie has once again chucked us in a beautiful village where I have no idea what they want us to do and it seems like all the villagers are trying to pack up and leave. Villagers what's going on? Why is everyone trying to leave this village? It's gonna explode? Gosh whatever's going on inside this village we need to help them out. It seems like they're all worried that something is gonna explode. Excuse me is there some sort of bombs around here or something? Oh, a TNT hole? Well, let's go and find it and hopefully we'll figure out exactly what's going on. Now, I've already noticed they've got some strange TNTs lying around this little pond. And it seems to go inside the forest. Well, let's follow this little track and hopefully it'll lead us somewhere nice. And I've never even seen some of these TNTs before. And wait, I think I found it. Gosh, it goes all the way down to the center of the world. No wonder these villagers are trying to run away. They're pretty much scared that all these TNTs are going to blow up the whole neighborhood. Well, let's find out what's going on. Villagers, don't you guys worry. I'm going to go and save you all and find out what's at the bottom of this TNT madness. Well, guys, let's do this. You ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Yes, awesome. Wait, we're full down to the center of the world. Okay, this is not good. Let's see where we spawn. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. We're on a world that is full of TNT. And for some reason, there's a very strange village over there. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what's inside. And they've given us a bad combination. A flint and steel with a whole world full of TNTs. Well, do you know what? I'm going to make it to this village and find out if all of these guys are worried. Maybe this is exactly why all the villagers are packing up and trying to run away from the previous village. Because they're scared, their world is going to end up looking like this. Villagers, I see you all stuck and unable to get inside your houses. But don't you guys worry. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys enough blocks so you can pretty much build up and make your way to your wonderful homes. Gosh, this is such a crazy day. And it seems like all of these villagers are super worried. Well, let's do this. I'm going to make some steps for them and hopefully it will help them get to their houses and pretty much stay away from all the darkness. Perfect. And there we go. See, so now they can go ahead, go inside their houses and hopefully go back to their families. But I am very curious of something. I want to find out what happens if we go ahead and use our flint and steel to pretty much blow up the whole area. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Now our whole world is probably going to crash at this point, but it will definitely be worth it. Um, what happened? <laughs> is this not good? Wait, this is crazy. Okay, let's do this. I see nothing underneath this world. Run! It's going to be mental. No! Well, there goes the whole village. I want to spawn back to the previous village and find out if there any of them made it. Oh, we're back where we started. Well, maybe this was the village that was inside the TNT world. So now is our chance to go ahead and find out if any of these villagers would have ever have made it. Okay, one of the villagers whispered to me that inside this chest, there's going to be so many TNTs that we can go ahead and place. But I am definitely worried that this whole village is not going to make it. Well, let me take out every single one and hopefully we can pretty much use the most of them and we can survive this and we don't die. But I'm going to try my hardest. Are you guys ready? I'm going to spawn the first one right around here of the mining TNT. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't destroy this world, but I'm kind of hoping it'll create a big enough explosion that digs down to the center of the world. Cool. Okay, let's go see. It seems to have gone all the way down to obsidian or until it hits bedrock. Gosh, this is crazy. Well, thank goodness we exploded that one away from the village. Well, guys, let's do this. Let's go spawn the teleporting TNT. Now, I have a feeling this TNT will spawn around randomly and blow up. <laughs> that was definitely not where we placed it. Soy villager, I see you inside a little bit curious as to what happened. Well, let's go spawn the next one, which is TNT times 20. I'm assuming this has the same power of 20 TNT, so I'm going to stand back. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. I'm hoping some of the villagers completely made it. Well, this is definitely turning out to be such a weird day. But you know what? I'm going to keep on going because we have the Woodcutter's Delight, which I'm assuming cuts down everything that is made out of wood in a whole vicinity. You guys ready? Let me put it right there. And let's go and find out what's going to happen. Here it goes. Is it going to work? Come on. Yes. Cool. It pretty much got rid of everything in the whole neighborhood. Well, that was actually really strange. Okay. I'm kind of happy I didn't do that near the village because the villagers have so many houses made out of wood, which would have been completely destroyed. 
Well, guys, let's do the Physic TNT, which I think I already know what it means. It means it will go ahead and change the world around a little bit. There we go. See? It's changing everything. It's moving blocks around, trying to figure out where is best placed. And I think on the last second, it'll probably go ahead and blow up. Well, there we go. We've completely died. But where is that explosion? I think I pretty much placed it right around there. Can you guys see it? It's still moving blocks around. Okay, let's go and try and reach it. And hopefully we can do this by the time it finishes. Look, no, it's dragged us in again. <laughs> okay, we should have stayed far away from this. But this time we can see a little bit more going on. And it's finally exploded. Okay, how do we get out of here now? Oh, are we dead or are we alive? Okay, so it seems like we've made it. But we are still stuck inside some sort of force field. Okay, let's try and get out of here. Ah, oh, we died one more time. Okay, let's go and find out what happened because I'm very curious to find out the finishing product of that crazy TNT. Now, last time it dragged us in way back. So this time, it seems to have gone ahead, moved all the blocks around, and it's definitely taken the stone to the top and it's brought all the dirt down to the bottom. Well, let's go and keep on going and hopefully we can go ahead and place the troll TNT. You guys ready? I might go ahead and actually place this one by the village. We can pretty much go and play with them and we can figure out which one is the strongest villager in the whole town. You guys ready? I see so many of them hanging around the water, so let's go and do this. Now because this is a troll TNT, I'm assuming it will blow up randomly. <laughs> Just like the teleporting one. Well, are you guys ready? Let's do the airstrike. Now for this one, I am going to stand back and just watch because I think it might shoot arrows everywhere or TNT is falling from the sky. Wait, it's definitely TNT is falling from the sky. No! Okay, there goes the whole world. This is crazy. And I have a feeling it might have gone ahead and blown up the whole hole. Wait, it's exploding. I think it's gone ahead and detonated the hole that led to the TNT world. Look, there goes it all. And I see now so many TNTs blowing up. And we're now for some reason levitating. <laughs> this is crazy. So I'm hoping very soon we'll be able to see all the villagers that survived all of this. And hopefully be able to survive the crazy world. See, the whole world is now being blown up into millions and millions of pieces. Huh. Well, I'm so glad that finished with. Well, let's try and make it out of here because it seems like some of these villagers have sadly survived, which is not kind of what we wanted. I want to find out if every single villager can now die. The whole point of saving this village is now gone. I'm going to try my hardest to destroy the whole thing and hopefully we can figure out which one is going to survive the most. Well, the next one we have is the slimy TNT, which I'm assuming is either going to spawn slimes or bounce around. Let's see. Oh, is that it? Wait. It's still bouncing around. Okay, that's kind of cool. I actually really like that one. That's one of my favorite ones. I like a TNT that can now bounce around and pretty much have loads of fun. As if it was like some sort of slime block. Do you know what? That is awesome. Well, let's go and spawn some more because it's going to be really awesome. And I'm going to try my hardest to go ahead and spawn a few of them around here. And hopefully we can do this. Well, let me check in all the items I won't be using. And let's take out a whole new row of crazy TNTs. Like the TNT times 10. I'm going to spawn it inside this crater because I'm very curious to find out if it's pretty much 10 times stronger than normal TNT. Oops. <laughs> yes, it definitely is. Oh, what a crazy day. Well, let's do the TNT times 5, which I'm assuming this should be 5 times stronger than normal TNT. You guys ready? Gosh, another death. Every single time at the moment, we seem to be dying. Okay, I'm going to spawn the Wrath of Zeus. I'm going to spawn it right there. And I'm assuming it's going to spawn loads and loads of lightning. There we go. Gosh. That's crazy. Okay, that was awesome. But sadly, the whole village is pretty much now destroyed. But I'm going to keep on going because we still have a few parts left. Um, I kind of started to do through trying to save the village. But directly, I realized we couldn't. I kind of gave up. Okay, let's go and spawn some more. And let's go and do the water flood. And I exactly know what it's going to do. It spawn loads of water. <laughs> Yes, awesome. Okay, let's try and get out of here and let's go and spawn the flatter TNT, which I'm assuming is going to flatten everything above this little TNT. There we go. And perfect. And let's go see what it's going to do. Here we go. Okay, what did it do? It exploded, but I don't think it did anything. Ah, oh, that is awful. Oh, it's working. <laughs> cool. And it's gone ahead and done a lot of farming for us. Well, let me go and also do the Miner's Delight. 
Now, I'm assuming it's going to mine everything. So if we stand on woods, I think we should be safe. And let me put also a door there. There we go. Perfect. Oh, nice. So now we're going to go ahead and mine away all our iron blocks and all our coal. Yep, that was awesome. And we also have a festive TNT, which I'm assuming is going to be loads of fireworks. Let's go see what's going to happen. Oh, nice. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. I could easily get used to that one. Well, let's also go and take out a whole new row. And the reason I haven't done the black hole one is because I purely think it's going to destroy our whole world. So I want to spawn the rest of them for now. And then we can figure out the rest of them later. Okay, the bunker buster. I'm going to do it right down here. And perfect. And let's do this. Cool. We're following it all the way down to the middle of the world. And I think it's made it down to bedrock. Okay, how do we go and find out what happened? <laughs> this is actually really cool. Okay, where is it? I think I spawned it right around here, but I'm not really sure. Let's go and look for it. Ah, here we go. So I think I pretty much spawned it around here. So let's get a little bit closer. Aha, uh -huh, I think it's down there. Let's have a quick look. Hopefully we don't fall all the way down to bedrock. <laughs> all of these TNTs are absolutely awesome. Now the next one is a lightning storm TNT. Which I'm assuming is either going to be loads of lightning or it's going to change the weather into lightning. Whoa! Nice! And wait, there was a cow in there, right? Um, hopefully he's not dead. Well, let's also go and do the fire TNT, which I'm assuming should backfire with the water TNT that we spawned right behind it. Oh, cool! Well, I'm so glad everything's working. And to go along very nicely with the fire TNT, we're going to spawn the lava TNT. Here we go. And perfect, a whole chunk made out of lava. Well, we still have a couple more to do, so let's go and spawn the TNT 100 and the TNT times 200. I'm going to spawn them both together purely because I think it'll be a perfect combination. Let's try and run away as far as we can. Ah, we couldn't even make it out of the neighborhood. Okay, let's try and spawn back because I think it should still be exploding from afar. And our whole world is now lagging and hopefully it doesn't crash. Well, there we go, guys. There's the TNT 100 and the TNT 200, and it's pretty much destroyed the majority of our world right now. And I did think for the last few that we have to do, we can go ahead and spawn them right in a different area, purely because our whole world is now destroyed, and I think some new little grasslands should be perfect. Okay, this one is the Shulker TNT, which, is it going to levitate everything, or is it going to spawn loads of Shulkers? Okay. We now got levitation for 30 seconds. This gives us a chance to go ahead, get inside the water, and try and survive this. Chickens, come this way. It's the only way you can survive. <laughs> Being on top of water is the only safe thing we can do. Oh, wait. We don't even need to tell the chickens that. The chickens can go ahead and slowly glide down. Well, we have this only for another five seconds. So let's see who's going to land first. Ah, oh, it's going to be kind of crazy. I'm going to try and blow up the next TNT with the chickens almost making it to the ground. Okay, here we go. Let's quickly do this. I'm going to do the gravitational TNT. It will go ahead and push them back into the sky. There we go. And perfect. <laughs> Wait, it's dragging us all in. Okay, I thought this was going to go ahead and make us all levitate again. Ah, oh, this is mental. It pushed us all up into the sky. Well, the final three is going to be pretty cool, and this one is the water absorption, which I'm definitely assuming is just going to absorb all the water around us. Wait, are we 70% water? Is it going to take the water from us as well? <laughs> oh, cool! Well, there it goes, and now hopefully the majority of it should fill back up. Let's have a quick look. Yep, it's doing it very nicely and perfect. Well, that was kind of useless. Okay, let's go and do the cluster TNT. Now, this should be really cool. I'm just hoping we don't die on these last couple because it's definitely not good for us when we do die so many times. Ah, nice. So one TNT has like 50 more inside. Okay, do you know what? Let me go and spawn the final one, which is the black hole, which I'm assuming this one destroys our world and it takes forever to explode. And so many times it can crash your whole world. Gosh, how many squids is there? Okay, I think this is going to be a whole general thing of this is dragging every single squid from the whole ocean towards us. Well, guys, I guess this is going to be a mass suicide for squids. So I'm assuming this is going to be such a crazy day and hopefully we can survive this. Well, guys, I wish this was the crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below the button that's red, and don't forget to press the notifications bell. So, guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.